This is how to instantly crop in Final Cut Pro. I'll share four different tips that are perfect for beginners, but still used by the pros. I'll show you the right way to crop, avoiding empty space in your video. And stay till the end to trim your video into a slick split screen. All right, in Final Cut Pro, select the video or the picture that you want to crop, and then open up the inspector. It'll be over here on the right-hand side. If you don't see it, click this button with the three sliders, or just press Command-4 to open up the inspector. And then make sure you're on the Video Inspector tab by clicking this film strip icon. Go down to the section that says Crop, and change the type from Trim to Crop. All right, now I can use these sliders to crop in on my image. So let's adjust it. And you'll see as you adjust the slider, it zooms or crops in on that section. So I've told it to crop from the left 680 pixels. We can also do a little bit from the right, and then we can do the top and bottom as well. There we go. If I want to reset any of those, I can just click this little arrow next to it and select reset parameter. I can also double click on the number and just enter zero. And if I want to reset all of it, I'll just go up here to the crop header and click the button and select reset parameter. I can also turn the crop off but keep my values by unchecking this blue checkbox here. So here's with the crop off, and then when I enable it again, my crop is active. I can also add keyframes to my crop so that it adds movement to my video. I'll just move my playhead in the timeline where I want a keyframe, and then I'll click the keyframe button. I'll move forward in time a little bit, and I'll adjust the crop, and it creates a new keyframe. And now we have some quick movement as it changes the crop. If I click this button here, it'll show me some on-screen controls allowing me to adjust the crop. But I'll show you more on that in just a minute. I love how exact you can get by cropping with the inspector. I'm a precise kind of guy, and I want to know if I'm precisely helping you. If so, will you give this video a thumbs up? I really appreciate it. In a second, I'm gonna show you how to make that cool split screen. But first, I wanna show you how you can crop what you see. There's an easier way to crop in Final Cut Pro. Select your clip, and then in the bottom left-hand corner of the viewer, click on this down arrow and select crop, or right click in the viewer and select crop or even faster press shift c you'll see it brought up these controls around our video and some options down here i'll show you what trim does in a little bit i want to look at crop first so i'll select crop in the middle here and you can see there are some blue corners on our video if they're a little hard to grab or adjust just click on this percentage up here and let's zoom out a little bit let's go to 50 percent Okay, we can see that better now. Now I can visually crop my image or my video. I'll just hover over one of the corners and I'll adjust it. And you'll see that this area is now grayed out. This is area we won't see in our video anymore. And on the inside is what we'll see. Let's adjust this corner and then I can click anywhere inside the crop to reframe it. Let's put two handsome dudes. If I wanna go back to the original crop, I can just click reset right here and it goes back to normal. Once I've got my crop set up just how I want, I'll click done up here. And now our video is cropped into these jokers. There's another option under the crop menu called trim. Let's take a look at that. Back in the inspector, under crop, let's change type to trim. What this does is it actually trims the image, leaving transparent parts around the edge. So I can use the sliders to trim my image. You'll see here on the left that the image is trimming and we can do the same on the right. Sorry guys, it's all about me. All right, we can do the top and the bottom as well. Now, any video or pictures or background will be seen underneath that because I've trimmed the image to this section here. I can activate the on-screen controls by pressing this button. And now we see this dashed line with these blue handles. I can click and drag on a side handle to make my trim bigger. And the same for the bottom and top handles. I can click anywhere in it to move the trim around. And then these corners allow me to expand it a little bit more. There we go. And of course, just like with crop, I can click reset if I want to go back to the original settings. I can do the same thing with the viewer. I can click here and select crop, or I can right click in my viewer, select crop, or even faster, press shift C, and then select trim down at the bottom. I can zoom out a little bit by clicking this percentage button up here, and let's go to 50%. And now I can see all my trim controls. I can trim my video like so and move that around. All right, trim is a great way to make a split screen. So I'll stack two video clips on top of each other. I've got the video clip of me fishing with my friend in Panama. And then here is my wife looking at a smoked iguana in Panama and they eat that and she's just not so sure about that. So let's do a split screen, a horizontal split screen. I'll select my top video, which is my wife Leah here and I'll right click and select crop and then I'm going to make sure I've selected trim and I'm just going to trim up 
to this top part here. But I want to see halfway, so I'm going to click View and then go to Show Horizon, and that gives me a halfway mark on my video. That looks pretty good right there, but it's not quite as high, so I'm just going to click Done, and then I'll go back to the Video Inspector, and I'll just click and drag up on this Y value under Transform to move the video up. There we go. Now I'll select my bottom video, and I'll right-click on it, select Crop, make sure I have Trim selected, and let's trim this up. There we go. And we'll trim the top as well. We'll click done. And over here in transform, I'll just pull that down so we can see it better. There we go. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to press Z and just zoom in to make sure I don't have any gaps here. Nope. We look pretty good. I'll press shift Z to zoom back out. And now let's go up to view and turn off our horizon tool. And let's take a look at our split screen, fresh fish and smoked iguana. Mm -hmm. Side note, the fish was awesome. We didn't dare try the smoked iguana. Ooh, I love a good split screen. They especially look good on Instagram and social media sites. If you want to learn how to make a square video in just one click, then check this out.